Let's get it. GFM, God Free Man Show. Uh, today we got Lito Jordan and we got Louis Lucian. Uh, we're going to kick it off. Welcome, everybody. Right now, before you even get here, welcome to the GFM Show. Welcome to all the ladies and gent and anybody who playing on. Hold on. Everybody hopping in there, my quick, my bad, my bad. Y'all throwing me off. Hey, what it is, what's up? Well, like I said, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gents, <clears throat> peoples and folks, anybody who playing on using this quote, thank y'all for joining the show. All right, all right, here we go. GFM Radio. Mm -mm. Because it's such a big fun of a nerd. get here we gonna go and start his track his track is um literally the get excited joint i can't wait till we talk about it because it's a big history behind this song how this song even wind up still making it to the album but it's um it's track 20 Lido star he the first verse so we're just gonna go straight to it This uh, Get Excited featuring Lito Jordan, um, Scooter Chose, me, Kimo, DJ Sluggo. Got what I need. Blocking the 40, get back with a B. To make sure I'm good. Play the rest though. Stop it early before it even play with us. Um, thought Lito would have been in here, but we'll just chill. Voila, what's the word? Mikey Lord, what's the word? Threat, what's the word? I don't necessarily want to play nothing because they don't flag. I don't want them to restart it. Uh, I don't want them to restart the thing. I see that's a real thing. I'm waiting on them to respond back, though, because I told them, like, this is my music. So um, I'm only going to play our music on here or music of uh, somebody, one of the artists that I'm talking to. I'm never going to play nobody else's music. So, yeah, I, no, I'm going to never do that. So, um, we went on Lido 
And then, like I said, we got Lewis Loose and his his song is um uh Streets Keep Calling. Nope, service for start. Nope, putting in work. It's the song right before the joint with Lito. Um so it's uh it's track nineteen and um Lito and Lu Louis Lucian, he starts at minute one twenty. So I'm gonna go to minute one twenty on track nineteen. From the west side to the shore, no Sunrise putting it, sunset putting it, all day putting it. I'm putting in work. I come from the streets. I'm the man now. Got a plan now. No time to sleep. I rise on the south side. I rise on the south side. I rise on the south side. Oh God, putting in that work. Stop trying to win, Joe. From the west side to the honey. From the west side to the honey. That's that real joint right, right there. We still, Lord, hit, uh, hit Lido, Lord. Voila. <laughs> hey, Lido. Bro should be on deck. Let's think about going live. Gotta be on here. Hold on, hold on. Get excited again. You know, we fly it. We fly it. Subside. Subside. Roll it up. Roll it up. Roll it up. I lied. Lido, where you at? Lido Jordan. Lido Jordan. Black and the four together with a big. I'm rolling with gold, we part of the team. No kids, I hit it in pool. Lead oh, there go, Lord. Let me start over. Let me start over. There you go. beforehand but then getting the call man we at the studio pull up pull up super private location super private super, location super private location you know, yeah. uh for niggas like us you know <laughs> the whole where we come from so privacy is everything yeah because uh, on 
where how yeah, we got to move. Outside, you know what it looked like till we get inside that joint. You like, oh, man. This what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's a whole new world. So how, how it felt when uh to be like when you heard the it final was, joint? Man, you thinking of it was. You know what I mean? It like was, I, I I scooter put scooter on there. Uh, putting uh chemo on there. Uh, so let me tell you. So that song I originally remixed it on right. the Bobby Gore uh catalog, right? But it didn't do nothing. Oh my mind, that's Sluggo on that's there. Slug that's Sluggo. That's Sluggo. So like, that's like one of his top selling records right there. So when he cleared me, I was just like, no, nah, I can't waste it on this one. Then when I heard when I heard when you we had a session for your verse, I'm like, well, shit, I'm about to kick that thing off like never before. So hold on, you feel me? So when you kicked it off, I was just like, nah. Then I was like, uh, how about I went and got four, four them? You know what I'm saying? When it got scooter through scooter on that thing. Now chemo, the business we worked out, he's supposed to do a dancing video to it when it come out. I'm waiting to see how long it takes him to do his diligence. But, he's to... <laughs> but I'm waiting to see. Now, if he do that and we all get everything together, then I think we could double around and then get Sluggo to actually do a just for remix. Show. You know, like, you know that, 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 that record right there is, like, one of them records that, you know, we came up on, like, one of them Twister uh, joints that we heard from Crucial Conflict and the whole game but everybody from out west, you know, talking the slang that we talk, it's identified, it's relatable. Uh, yeah, chemo, you know, the younger people, they're a little different, you know what I'm saying? Like, I said, I will wait till he do his due diligence. I will wait till he do his due diligence. It exactly. all do have his wings. Hey, because I ain't seen him yet. You the first cat that put something like that, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Like, you the first person to put something together like that, you know. So, before we go into it, we just kicked it off. My bad, we keep doing that. Let me, let me go ahead and kick it off with your verse of the day. It's the 19th. I got to give you your verse that I feel like encompasses you. You know what I mean? So, your Bible verse is uh, James. Uh, chapter 1, verse 19. It's understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. That's what I, that's that's what I think you are. I like that. I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm such an action sign, man. I just move, you know, and I, you know, like after I, I make my movement, then I can, I can reflect on what I decided, right? I wish I had the skill mm -hmm. to be able to decide before I move, but I'm just so headstrong to get things done. And you know, sometimes when they don't go correctly, you get angry, you know? So that, how you think, right. now, right. now let's get into the interview right now. How you, you just said, uh, Rest in heaven, Mom Dukes. How how you think that play a role in you? You basically yeah. started just explaining bumping your head. Being patient where you at, you know. And I think we get so far ahead on like yeah, we all have these like aspirations in our mind, right? But we get so far ahead of dreaming mm -hmm. that we have to stay present and use what we have. And I think that sometimes sure. for me, I get caught up into you know, it's not really a destination; it's just a journey. So it's no the end goal. Right, it's right. no end goal. The, it's all about the process. So I had to just fall in love with the process every time. That way, I don't have any expectations to let myself down or try to hype myself up. Exactly. So that's something you yeah, going to learn in, in all processes. Yeah. Learn. Uh, now with, uh -huh. you hit me with that one. Uh -huh. Lord, well, we to the Psalms, you know, with John, I needed that because it was like kind of current moment, present day of what I'm trying to involve myself with for myself. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just going by the date and I'm picking the joint what <laughs> date it is and me knowing you and I'm 
Right. So, I'm like, no, nah, I got to give you give you that one. So it's just like introduce yourself now. Go ahead and tell the people who you are. We got a couple of people here. Let them know who you are, bro. B-I-G, where I come from. I'm a hood figure. All my young niggas, you heard me. Um, and, and and been in this rap thing for a decade plus. And independent success is something that we could never fathom, but it's something that we have. And we're grateful for it, just to be able to have a platform for people to hear us and uh, be able to put it out and be able to impact people in a, a, a relatable way. You know, it's all God, God grace, you know, and I couldn't be more for nothing but that. That's hard. So you've been in the industry 10? Man, I've been, been in the industry. <sighs> I've been rapping for 10 in the industry, in the industry okay. super okay. tough six, because, you know, you got to go through them. Bumps in the road, so certified, certified engineer right. at six, and then, well, yeah, certified engineer for six. But in the beginning of that four is why I started to progress in ways that mm -hmm. I couldn't even fathom. You know, just from appreciating all that I had to go through and grow through. What, you, what you mean, like in your artistry or like in your art? Like you know, I think it's all part of it because you know we. I engineer myself, you engineer yourself. You know, yeah, that's so like, right. like, like niggas don't even be yeah. up on that. Like, so that's a whole nother beast to battle. Cause not only like the lyrics is already there, but now you gotta be able to captivate people in a way that the sound correlates to get them passion or emotion to trigger relatable emotions for how we feeling in the space that we created these records. Um, So, you know, the facet of that is uh, like, we hybrids, you know what I mean? And, you know, that's Chicago slang, you know, we country out here, Midwest. But we, yeah. we do it all. We can, we can jack and be jack yeah. at right the end of the day. You know, at the end of the day, so you, you didn't start out like pad. that, though, right? At one point, you know, just putting that pen to the paper, just any beat that I heard that I felt inspired by, or I felt like I could, like, articulate my current emotion for that moment, that's what it, that's what it kind of started off. And then it was like, it kind of subsued to anger. You know what I mean? It was like, damn, I could really, even if don't nobody hear me in the world, at least I hear me, right? Yeah, right. it's real therapeutic. Therapy. And it released that dopamine in your uh, mind where you like, you say some shit, but you really live. And not like saying like no gangster shit, but you really experience what you said. And it's all a message for your future self, from right. your past self. It'd be crazy when I'd be hearing some records because I'd be like, damn, it be serving my older self and it be my younger self saying shit beforehand. And I, you know, it's like prophetic. It's, I, I, so that's what I would, what, what, what I would yeah, do with some. Yeah, what, you what, know what, what I'm what I'm Like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey, all look, ball, ball out. Story. Used to hit the mall and tear the mall down. Little nigga, shit I'm doing right now got me large now. Hey, real. Yeah. Like, if what you blown I down, keep going. <laughs> you know what I mean? I so, keep going. I already I know. Going, bro, you know man, I mean, like, we, yeah. and it's, and it's, it's crazy because we've been at this shit. Man, well, in between me knowing Dre and me and Dre building a relationship. That's in so right? Like, right? grammar was school. We was Thank cool. You. Grandma school. We knew each other because we played ball. He was at the work. I was at Webster. So it was just that West Side connection through basketball. But then that, uh, we went to high school together. Uh, then they ended up at NIU. I was at Kish. And it was just like, it was full circle because we already had knew each other. Then we locked in tighter. I and bought me the yoke career. Yeah, back. And, and Dre was family. Yeah, was bro. Like, that's my I'm a probably years, more son. It's probably more than that because we. I think at the time, we don't even count. I was on independent time. Man. All the time is relevant. We don't. It's over. It's over. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even yeah. think about it like that. That's hard. So what is like repping that two ninety? And the man, struggle you know, of repping that man, you know what I think. I, and I don't even really care about what people say. I feel like it's something going on out south that they trying to keep from out west. Because the West Side makes so much great music. It's so much great music on the West Side of Chicago. It just, it, it baffles me with all of the talent that we have that we haven't got 
some of our people up to like a dirt status, a, a yay status. Yo, okay, we just met. Okay, feel this. We just met with Wick Wild yesterday. He just gave some game and said, although Twist and them was signed first, the right. HMH group that they was in in '94, the song they put out, Booty Bounce, was the first That's song to hit the charts. That was so, West, saying, so I think it. Well, look, I, I think we see the, the all the take for instance, all the artists you just named, you can associate yeah, for with, sure. them with the machine. You know, that, and, but 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 with that yeah, West Side, we coming like bosses. I'm not saying they workers. I'm just saying before I get into the difference, the differentiation of that five and that six, and how that play. I'll just say, we more likely to come like, nah, we ain't finna go in that working position. We finna just be like, hey, bro, I know this already. This already. I don't know. You ain't, I'm doing, we be it doing it already. It already. Right. Like, about this. Go, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, Hove got a billion cell. So I figured shit, that's living proof. Boom, and operation running straight up out my living room. Hey, how why how, why are you so co like what what you really really like scoping to our uh, nip? Man, how that feel? Heavy as the head because I feel. you know people. No, nah, nah, you know I appreciate right that because you know I get those and I be like you know I, I I be like I'm just trying to feel my shoes you know but I look at it like you know it be so much shit out here it's really sketchy like if I come from where you come from you know me right. You know I'm not doing no weird shit to no kids. You know I'm standing on my principles. I'm guiding these young brothers in the right direction. Like, yo, do what you do, but ultimately you got a greater goal outside of yourself. Like, we got to stay in this what we trying to build for family. Right. You should be ahead of that. You know what I mean? So yeah. when we cultivate we. this type of shit, and, you know, like, long live the king, Nip was a great man. And if I could just... You know, be a piece of that. Same way I look at you, I admire your hustle. Like, that's what it should look like. We should be able to bring things into our yeah. neighborhood to offer people services. Y'all, we, we'll spend our money anywhere else but with ourselves. And that's the shit that but baffles without, me. Like, ourselves. you look at me, you know where I come from. We come from the same thing. We should, we shouldn't. It's not no but big ass little product. use to me. <laughs> You know, it's like my toothpaste I mean? ain't toothpaste now. Guess what? <laughs> like, if, if we gonna go out and say, I ain't going to buy my weed at the dispensary, I'm only buying it in the hood, then we should treat our dollars legitimately like that. We shouldn't go outside our neighborhood. We should spend that shit in our neighborhood. You know, cause, well, that's a good point. Hey, we that's keeping the money in the point. hood when we give it to our local dope dealer. So, I think that true, true. Is this... Is that the, uh, the yeah. connection, how you are? Because I know your crew is foes in. Man, self-sustainability. Right? You, you know, financial freedom, my only yeah. hope. That's F-O-E. So, because you, F-O-E yeah, is foes and it's, folks, it's, right? It's everything over everything. So, we family, you know, it's family over everything. everything. People are abbreviated for all okay. different for okay. all different notions, but I got folks homies I rock in with. I got outlaw folks homies I rock in with. I got some of the foes I fuck with on Stone Tears, right. some of the stones. You know what I mean? So it's I, it's that's why I was no I know you LSD is this product, but your company been represented and and, and and stood for the umbrella of what we was talking about. And what LSD may represent, you've been representing. And I'm just giving you that flower. But, but nigga, I had to say likewise. I think it's just like birds of the feather, and we understand what we could do together. You know what I mean? It, it was this thing I had seen on Instagram, and the nigga was basically saying like, if you want to go far, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, take many. It, it's the perspective. It's, no, no. it's, it's not one person. Take few. It's you know, I, I, it, yeah. if I need this wheel to turn and it's a handle on one side and a handle on another, I need another motherfucker like me. Like, I need another motherfucker like me on that other handle who I know gonna go hard and. That's. On that other, you know what I mean? The wheel on that other path. So, when we, we, we talk about where yeah, we come from, yeah. I be looking for them niggas that's like that. And, you know, the energy will land us into yeah. the niggas that's moving, how we moving, and we like, 
bet we on the same type of time. We could do something. But how you get, well, I'm going to tell you, when you got, when you did that session, because I'm saying it, not that, I ain't cutting you up, and I, I'm fading into it. Like, you talking to, right now as we in conversation, but your bars encompasses a lot of what you're saying. And it's like, is that, was that sort of your motivation, how you derived to the point to uh, not write anything down? To Man, sit? I think that being able to, like, calculate my thoughts, being able to, like, articulate every emotion, right? Because I felt some shit through this bitch. So to be able to articulate what I feel, I think that's just me creating in real time. I'm still talking, but I'm just putting it in the cadence. But ultimately, that's just who I am. You know, my mom raised us to be like, you know, share this shit with each other. Because if I lead this right. bitch and y'all okay. don't got this shit figured out, it's not going to work. My mom gone like eight years. And, and you know, me and my off. sisters, we in a space where it's so much understanding. But like, even with my niggas, if I ain't present in the moment, a nigga could be like, Lito probably own some shit. And if my niggas not present, I know they own some shit. So when niggas come back, we sharing these resources. I think that is conducive to the growth of all of us. I shouldn't hold this shit close to my. If I'm gonna take the chance first, great. But once first, that it works, right. I need to give it. Be little, I need personal. to expand it because what Jay say was better than one billionaire. Two. So if Two. we start having a mindset oh, of help each one, teach one in the, oh, in God. our neighborhood. If if shorty know. How to make mm -hmm. 50k off the finesse off a bank loan or bank statements and she teach everybody on the block and it's 30 houses on the block 50 times 30. We, we ain't got to look then back. We just come in the box. <laughs> now we just got to hit the box. <laughs> so that's why I be thinking like. I think we just need four of us that win that, in, in, that, yeah. in that mathematics, I believe. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to tell you that but how you went off the dome like that you know i had never right i used to write but seeing you doing that that you was like my second or third person that confirmed me to go ahead i appreciate this rap, it because i always not. said like once i got the equipment i was like you know i felt like it was so more organic not like organic like you know but i, I when i write sometimes i might overthink a line yeah like you felt it you, you could say it. and it feel good and it yeah. fit it's like I'm keeping that. You know what I mean? And then you build up and it just be like, when you hear it, you never really appreciate it until it's done. Because when it's done, you be like, damn, I I just cooked up some shit just off of my... I, then and like, even damn, I the same for you, that. like your pen is immaculate. You know what I mean? The way you conceptualize records from where we come from to cultivate our community, our neighborhood, like the west side of Chicago, a piece of Chicago, this, this ain't no small time shit. You know, and we don't right, need anybody right. else to like, oh, we've been through that. Like, yeah, we, we said that. But you know what I mean? Now it exists, and now we could put and now we could do these, these combos to give it more light. LSDMO.com, everybody. I ain't, ain't no shame this plug, but that's where everything at. That's where the book's at. That's where all our lyrics you know, are at. That, like, it's what the, I mean? the lyric book in there now. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I did that. Why? Because if you, as you listen to this album, I want you to read along with the lyrics. How about that? Story. You feel me? All of us. So you can follow the story. Huh? Follow the story. Because this is, Man. this is a Chicago and like story. And like what this is, legendary. So, you know, we only... Oh, God. Hey, oh, so you've been in it 10 years. How much you think you spent on, the <laughs> on your art street? Hey. And you nasty, look, like you, you, you. That's what you that's what makes it scary whatever. for niggas. You know, I said uh, some shit on a on a record, and my homie was like, "You really be popping your shit." I said, a "Hard drive, portable, all them records is bagged up. We got so far ahead, niggas couldn't even catch up." Go, you a nigga, bro? You got over like a thousand, two thousand records out, nigga. You like our ah, masterpiece? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying, so, Lord. I'm trying. I'm glad. Damn, this that's coming crazy. From me, I'm you know, and niggas look at me, I'm and I'm trying. a nigga with a couple hundred records out, and I'm like, man, this nigga Gore got thousands of records out. 
state to state. I didn't see you move. So, you know, like, like I said, it's no little shit when it comes to us. We big, you know? And I think that, I think that we deserve more respect than we get. So I feel like LeBron, I want my respect. Gore want his respect. It, but let's add in that other side. We five. We five. five. The Chicago, anybody you just named, they either, okay, oh, Herbo got, he got under the six. With him, but and that's, that's why I say it's some them. shit going on. Shit. Like, I, but put it like this. Put it like this. Okay, right. Oh, that's Chicago. I'm going to say, right? They about the six. Folk, but that's folk nation. They ain't rocking with the foes. Lil Chris on, on folks, folk, but Lil Chris folk. fuck with niggas. And I Lil Chris from out west though. But, but check it out. Check it out. You got the you got the folks, right? Right. They folk nation, right? We people nation, right? Now out the folks outside of Chicago who run the industry. That's what I'm saying. You see, it's so the there's something going and a bunch on. Of that shit, and then you know it's the bloods because the west, the west coast, they got their hands in this shit. So you know, it, and right, but they folks, but that's theirs, right? They all folks, the people no, no. Are not Man, working the together. And but, but here's the thing. But the people that we do got that we do see over there, trust me, Lord, they with folk now. Come on, Lord. So a lot, a lot of the it's so, so a lot of they a lot of the anticipation we expect from them it, it, they real, can't. It's real political the game. And I mean, us, even when they told us this shit in grammar school for basketball, this shit is a political field. It's, you know? it's political. And and the politics of it, it's gonna keep us out. Why? Because whether we coming with the four, the five, or we just West Side, you know, in Chicago, shit, the, the West Side yeah, GD is no, different and, from the and South Side GD. They, from out West, they hate out West. For, for, for reasons I would never understand, <laughs> y'all niggas come pick with us, y'all come from a week. I would never understand. As you know what I'm saying? Y'all South, though. Fuck with y'all South. We be fucking up with the East. Mix. We fuck with the going North. out there. But we ain't we, sneak different. No. And people don't really. They don't really love us, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of the artists. Oh. They, if you look at it, like we got Twister, we got Crucial Conflict, we got we like we got Snipers, we got Young Super Niggas Darkness, too, we, like, like DCG, got... man, Sicko Mob. What's the bro name? Who was going? Sicko. Who was going crazy off Lundell? Well, we got Z. Z. So many uh, motherfuckers, bro. Like, and I, but, I just be like, you know. We all signed, and when we understood the game, we ain't like it no more. That's it. what with wild. You know thing about it? A too. lot of them niggas be signed to a lot of niggas. We we get money out with so of the when day. niggas be like niggas so used to opening up their own shit, running their own shit. When niggas be like, damn, I can't get no clique of his eight or nine niggas who want to fuck with me, but eight or nine niggas gonna touch some paper for I get some paper. What the fuck? I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't it's never going to rock like that with a West Side nigga. I bought the product. Like that. But, that, but look, when we was doing Just Be Live, me and B.E., right, met with three out here in L.A., they looked at the over, it was over a thousand right. pages in the business plan. He looked me in my face and said, no one's going to work with you. You're, you're a blue chip. He said, nobody in this business is going to work with you. And since he said it, Lord, I'm talking about like 2012, 2013, shit. Since he said it, Lord, you know, Lord, I mean, the lawyers won't take is, my money. This, this, this is, I, I be feeling like that. Be like, damn, am I blackballed out this bitch? Nah, nah it's just we. It's where you from? Like the what they? It ain't where you from. What or what they dispelled it? Right. Like Kim said, it ain't where you from. Is where you at? Right? Uh, I think it was Sub D or KRS One. He said, no. Nah, it was never about where you bro. Were. It's always about from where watching you your from. streams, seeing what you stream like, seeing what I stream like. I'd be happy to tell niggas. I'd be like, nigga, I I, I really brag, but nigga, I do this shit from home. I, I, I do it from the crib, and it's like now at the end of the day, now we gotta put together the whole show, and the and the show is the same. 
page, the merchandise. That's and, a fucking and the fact. Sales. So we gotta prove it. So it ain't it ain't gonna be through nothing but what you talking about, your the collaborative efforts, something like L C more LA. If you look at the industry, exactly. everybody collaborating with each other. Why? Because we we got to gotta collaborate. Gotta sell these records. You, you gotta sell them. You feel me? So if you look at us, we all so high, highly talented, and and we could run the machines ourselves. We don't that's a do fact. business enough with each other, and, and that's what I think hurts us. Our South, they it's still do business. They still do business. They still you see what I'm saying? And still and that's what I do business. Us, we people to be like, no, nah, like, I don't yeah. like that niggas, nigga, nigga. And this, nigga. this, so, this is the shit so that niggas get so attract minded on, right? I be looking at niggas like, you want to rap or you want to be? You can't do both. It's a nigga on the plate for everybody. This is a billion dollar industry. I don't got the shit on this nigga to check no paper. Because if you go play, if you with me and you playing, that's we. So you got to stop or you fucking slowing up what I'm I got going because I'm, I'm not doing both. <laughs> like, so, it's like, yeah. so it's like slow up a little bit. Then is it so what are some of the things outside of the industry that you doing to help keep you sane? Because, bro, your fresh level, bro, your bars, your package, like, because don't think you the only one looking at your shit like, man, why this shit ain't got more plays? Why this, nice. shit, this shit niggas playing? So don't, don't think your shit ain't the only shit. Like I told you, bro, Spotify never put the album up. I'm to wait to the new year. I saw the nigga. I'm watching, they, nigga. I'm so featured on it. I'm treating it like it's mine. They told us I'm going to look it up. No, this shit boy. is uh, it, 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 it's some type of message on that why they <laughs> Got it on there. Or like, like what? So now look what that a uh, sure. that and all of us have to relaunch. You know the things I do, man. Outside this, cause I tell you, I was talking to my best friend the other day, and I said, man, bro, I said it's so tough to be an artist when I hear about niggas like Kurt Cobain and shit, and they do all of this weird shit. I don't see myself going that far, but I could understand why, because. I always understand. It's just, it's you know what crazy. I, mean? I understand. Bro, each and every because story when you're a creative, while. you not made like a regular person. Like, it's it's other shit inside of us that pushes us, right? And, we you know, and it's not the feel trying to get it's it just the, the timeless messages that you put out. You know, and I tell people when you do it right, like LeBron, I want to play with people who play the right way. When you make music the right way, people who make it the right way, they understand. And, and here, you yeah, be like, this what y'all trying uh, to, you know, this shit hold no substance. So, you, you fall on And I, I go get it with nature, bro. And, you know, I try to stick close to the people that, like, I, I say this. If you like my music, if you're a fan of Lito Jordan, that just means we are on the same frequency. We share the same energy. We right. see life this, a similar way. And, you know, I think that perspective is everything because ultimately, I'll take, a hundred, two hundred, a thousand, twenty-five hundred core fans who who look out of a periscope oh, and they be like, "Me and this nigga see life the same way, man, woman, child, right?" And we'll, and we'll rock out like I that, swear. and I'll just drive my shit to y'all, opposed to me seeking validation from those who don't even want what I'm giving. And that's not necessarily that they don't want it, because in time they may grow into it, right? But they just have frequency. Like, I ain't talking so, to you. you know, I take yeah. rapid walks. I smoke weed in nature when, when the weather's good. Um, when I'm not doing music, man. Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I just, <laughs> like, when I'm not doing music, bro, I try to get out, see the world. It's not necessarily the human interactions. I, I, do, I do yearn for those, but I try to be how nature is. And when you sit with nature, you'll understand that nature doesn't force. It just flows. It doesn't try to do too much. It just flows right. effortlessly. I just try to nature. You just said the Bible verse too. 
understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. That's still your verse. You know what I'm saying? Hey, before we wrap up, though, what, you got to get in. You got to have it. You got to play. You got to play five songs. God say, give me five, your best five. And I'm going to head across. Which five are you Man, I, I fake want to play shit that I ain't even dropped. <laughs> it ain't got. It could be yours. It could be others. Uh, the first this song I'm gonna play is that. Boosie. You know, and I think that I had said one of my, one of my, yeah, it's a Boosie record. And one of my OGs, I seen him today, and I was talking to my friend, and we were talking about confusion. And I told him like it's okay to be confused because uh, sometimes right in, in the midst of that confusion, God is about to deliver that message that's gonna bring you clarity. It's physically right, right before, before they understand it. So the first one is Boosie, Rocket Man. Because sometimes I ain't gonna lie, I I don't have a, a thoughts of suicide, uh, but sometimes I just wish I could like disappear, still be alive. You mean? Yeah. Like, I need like, to hold on. I need to reset. everything. I I thinking of I don't don't I'll, in, 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 to 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 not, so you don't push there. I'm going to be 100 with you. It ain't a thought. It feels suicidal because to say it out loud, it sounds yeah. like a suicide conversation. But I, I I'm not thinking so way. Much, like, I just really want to get a break. I, I don't want nothing. I don't want my phone. Oh, God. I, I'll oh, probably God. only bring the studio, <laughs> but I don't want to be with no people. I just want to. Yeah. yeah. Just leave me alone for indefinitely. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, you ain't alone. Second What's the joint? second joint? Rock I would it. say uh, Hurricane by Kanye West and Lil Baby. That joint. Wow. Okay. I can't really explain it, but it's like almost a. Uh, it's like almost a. Uh, like this euphoric expression that I get of like freedom. You know what I mean? Um baby said some real powerful shit on the uh... What up, Lord? What up, Lord? Say I ain't what even up. looking at the comments and shit. What's happening, everybody? Right. We go I fought y'all. I fought y'all. Like, I, I sure would. I'm locked in with Lord. So um <laughs> that hurricane uh this one song I've been off for uh, too is this Kodak Black. Um, Kodak Black, it's that hop out shoot. Uh, it, 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 it made me think of the past. So the hop out Ooh, that's shoot. three. Our record that ain't out. Our record that ain't out on LSD. Which one? Yeah, to get excited when we talk about excited. You know, that was swag. You're the first one to pick the record we pick. Yeah, play. so swag, that record because I, I got the, I got the record that's you know I got a copy. You know what I'm saying? You know you get the artist copy, yeah. you get to listen with your verse. Yeah. So it ain't the full joint, but I get to enjoy it. Um, and then my last record, I would say, even though they, you know, I that snitch shit, you know, I whatever, you know, I, I fuck with that gunner. Um. That living in wild, that shit, that shit is a. Uh, I lost a homie. You yeah, know what he going there? Oh, why, he going why, you picking me why that's, baby? You know what I'm saying? That's that's hard. Well, man, any last up? Well, before before you go through your update, let's go through the five: Boosie, Rocket Man, Hurricane, Kanye West, and Little Baby. Yep. Kodak Black, How About a Shoot. Yep. By us, yep. Yep. Live wild. Them all, them all present days too. Them like present days. Yeah, them all. It's on like my mama. My daughter, this night, is what I was. This, this the fire you gonna see on my recently played. That's hard. That's hard, Lord. So now go on, hit him with the with the last comments, last Man, updates, last. And you know, I just want to tell motherfuckers, Joe, be you unapologetically. 
we were not put here to we were not put here to live in a way that is pleasing to others. You know, I think that we should all just do what we love. And I mean, this coming from a nigga who made a lot of money, touched a lot of money, chased a lot of money. Uh, it's nothing more fulfilling than doing what you love. And when you surrender to the idea of what God is trying to present for your life, that's when you can really go big time. And um, man, just always believe in yourself. Uh, and and if everybody telling you no, that's okay. probably something that should tell you yes. And do it. I say, that's hard. That's Lito Jordan, everybody. Yet again, this verse. Tell me he ain't embodied that verse, James 1.19. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must be all quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Love. Love. Slow to get angry. Love, Lord. In a minute. LSD, track 20. We'll be back in a minute. That's Leo <laughs> George. We out here. <laughs> we go in a minute. I'm going to smack that. I'm going to get in tune when I touch down. No, nah, he'll get it. I'm going to get in tune. Hey, Creep was already going. Hold on, Lord. My bad. My bad. Ah, Mikey, I just saw the request. My bad. I would have I would have chimed it in. I ain't see that shit. I thought it was Creep, Lord. My bad. Creep, do the request. Damn, I would have chimed in, Mike. My bad, Lord. I thought that was Creep. Well, up next, we got Creep, y'all. Not Creep, but Louis Lucy, uh, form, the artist formerly known as Mr. Creep. One half of the UK Gold and Sold group C Fluid. Wild Hunters representatives. Um, man, that was a good interview. Lito, cool dude, amazing person. All of the above. All of the above. That was amazing. He embodied that verse. Hey, eventually I'm getting everybody's songs too. And uh, we're going to put out, I'm going to release the track list of the songs that all the artists. Only one that hasn't picked was uh, the first three. So we got to go back and get those. Uh, the first three interviews. And then we got to uh, get Wick Wild because his phone died yesterday. He texted me a couple of seconds later. So uh, we got coming up next. Uh, I know we went a little over, so let's go ahead and get a uh, creep up in here. I mean, I keep calling creep because we, we cool, but Lewis Lucian, and we gonna get that next joint and um, track nineteen, and it starts at uh, minute one twenty, putting in work. <laughs> I come from the streets. 